If you missed last month's zombie apocalypse brought to you by the Chamber of the Northern Poconos, we have some highlights for you. The day included everything you need for an apocalyptic event. A secluded location. Unsuspecting victims. Zombie control volunteers. Sponsors with water for the runners and brains for the zombies. Medical services to treat zombie bites. Uber car for zombies. Complete with a snack in the back. Willing victims to be transformed into zombies. And an army of makeup artists to complete the transformation. A quick training. You guys are going to have to chase runners. And they're off so to the course the to get in position. Crazy zombies that are really quick. We have a kind of a rule no booze and no Tony the Tigers, which is rawr. Can you do that? You leave here, I want you walking down there as long as all these people can see it, and I want you to look like a zombie. Each runner is given a belt with two flags on it, representing lives. The goal is to finish the race with at least one life intact. can't trust zombies, contrary to popular belief, they're good at hiding, faster than you think, and even use tricks to capture their victims. Even when you think you are safe, they can attack and steal your lives. If you're lucky enough to cross the finish line with one life intact, you are awarded a survival medal. Those with no lives are given infected medals. And there was even a real life zombie on hand for a photo op after the race. If you missed this year's zombie run, there's still plenty of time to celebrate Halloween during October at Reaper's Revenge. To visit America's best haunted attraction, go to reapersrevenge.net. For information on the Northern Poconos Chamber of Commerce, visit northernpoconoschamber.com.